Hello everybody, my name is Tara McGee, and today we are going to be figuring out the truth behind PDA of Providence. Let's go. PDA is commonly known as public displays of affection, but at Providence High School, it's known as Providence <laughs> appointments. Now let's cut to Grace to see where all the action is. Come on! We found a real spot of PDA here at Providence. There's even evidence of the crime. What is your name, sir? Uh, Nathan Ayuk, for the record. So, how do you feel about PDA at Providence? Um, so I actually don't mind it. I encourage it. And why is that? Uh, I do it myself all the time. By yourself? Or yeah, by them? myself. <laughs> yeah, I encourage self-PDA, not like mutual PDA. Okay. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> what is your name? Sean Connor. And how do you feel about PDA at Providence? It is the grossest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Why are you doing that in the middle of the hallway? I have to get to civics. Please get out of my way. I am here with the churches. Um, what is your opinion on PDA at Providence? Do you think it is problematic? <laughs> I think forced PDA is problematic. <laughs> but yes, I don't enjoy watching PDA that occurs right here in this very spot, right outside my classroom. <laughs> I was sitting at the top of the stairs and then I was sitting at the bottom and then walking down the stairs and then he kissed my- Um, Ella keeps bringing me to the staircases in the school and begging me for a kiss in front of all my friends. Objection. He would always come up to me and kiss me. <sighs> Objection. Stay tuned for further updates on the trial and the PDA crisis at Providence High School.